I love that baskets really weave together generations, that it weaves together my friends, that it weaves together my family. And I love how people-oriented baskets are and how you're creating something from just raw material. Growing up, my grandmother always had a farmhouse full of people. My granny was Ardia Herndon, and she was one of those people that was just contagious and you wanted to be with her. In 1982, she went to the World Fair that was in Tennessee, and she saw a woman there making an egg basket. So she bought a kit and came home and taught herself how to do it. And from there, she had such a community of people around her, they wanted to know how. So her basement transformed into a classroom on many days. So I grew up with the basket community around me at all times. When I was six years old, Granny taught me how to make my first basket. What Granny didn't know is that a couple years later in school, I would start having lots of trouble. In third grade, my parents got me tested to see if I was dyslexic. School just wasn't the easiest for me, but basket weaving just made sense. We had no idea how much I would need this craft in my life. So in 2016, Granny invited me to a basket class and I got to teach this lady from Bargetown how to make her first basket. And all of a sudden there's just the spark of, oh my goodness, I could do this. I could teach classes like Granny. So that's when Danny Sue Creations was born. Danny Sue Creations really took off. We were overwhelmed um, by the response, but it became really clear to us that we need to move our family to Austin, Texas. But also, are we going to be able to do Danny Sue Creations after we leave Louisville? What's that gonna look like? Is this still gonna work? What are we gonna do? How am I gonna do this? I have people that are buying seats to my classes as soon as I post them. What, what am I gonna do? What does that even look like? We came up with this idea of starting the flock, and it is a basket membership where they get a, a kit and a pattern, a story behind the basket, and then all of a sudden, COVID hits, but it turns out all of these people that know how to weave were at home and bored and couldn't leave their house. So all of a sudden, my business like went crazy because there was an influx in people wanting kits and needing help. I have people weaving with me from Florida, New York, California, Tennessee, Texas, and Danny Sue Creations became this household thing because of COVID. My husband's working remote and it just became pretty clear that it might be time to come back to Kentucky. Granny and Pepal had left us 10 acres to build on, so it was time for the Anderson family and Danny Sue Creations to be on the move again. So we're back on the farm that I grew up on. We're building our forever home on the land that Granny left, and I catch wind of this basket business called Basket Makers Catalog in Scottsville, Kentucky, is selling their company because they're retiring. And we called to see if we could come and check them out. As we're getting there and driving to see their place, I'm of course very nervous and I just prayed like simple prayer, Jesus, would you please make this very clear to us if this basket business is the right thing for us and our girls. So we get there, we pull into the parking lot, we get out, their broker meets us in the parking lot and he says, they knew your grandmother, Ardia Herndon. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I knew before we ever walked in, before I ever met them, that this was my business. And I would be purchasing it. So we ended up spending a few hours with uh, the owners, Beth Hester, Scott Gilbert, and Mike Sims. Turns out in 1982, when Granny went to Tennessee for the World Fair, Beth and Scott and Mike were starting their business, Basket Makers Catalog, in 1982. And guess what else? I was born in 1982. So all of a sudden, all these things that I didn't know, we're all of a sudden seeing how this tapestry goes together. In the spring of 2024, we were able to acquire the Basket Makers Catalog and move it two hours north, change the name to Basket Makers Supply, and begin a whole new chapter for this company. So I have the privilege every morning of waking up in our dream house, our forever home, sitting on the 10 acres that Granny and Papa left us, 
I see my favorite place on earth, which is Granny's house right across the road and the basket barn. I just like living the actual dream that I didn't even, I wasn't creative enough to dream this life up. Could have never known that all of this was here to like be unlocked in my mind without baskets.